Hey. Hey, good morning. How are you? Good. How are you? What's up? Oh, I was wandering around back with my coffee and I came across this huge machine. What the hell is that? Do you believe it? <laughs> I'm like, whoa. We make, we're going to make cars out of it? Or yeah, it almost looks like it, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, it does. No, it's a new, brand new Mazak uh, 1080 uh, okay. Horizontal Machining Center. Uh, and it is a monster. Uh, you know, I, we have cameras in the back there. And when I was out of town, I was looking at the cameras and I saw the machine and I said, well, that thing is pretty big. Yeah. Now, when I got here the other day and I went back there, I cannot believe how big it is. I, I know. Mean, that baby is a monster. But it will machine, first of all, the machine weighs over 100,000 pounds. Hmm. It hmm. came in and, but well, you were probably here. So yeah, I it came in like five trucks. Five truck, and no. I mean big trucks, not yeah. little trucks. I mean, no. you know, double wide, I mean big trucks. Yeah. Uh, in fact, we'll get you some pictures of it. We'll uh, show you what that's all about. Uh, and the, as I mentioned, the weight is over 100,000 pounds. The operator, or not rather the operator, the installer has already been here over a month, and it looks like he's going to be here another month, and then they'll have to send a serviceman out uh, that's going to show us how to operate the machine. Oh, wow. I mean, we could stand inside the machine, you know, because it'll machine parts uh, over five foot, five foot tall. Wow, that's and, really And I big. think in diameter, in fact, I've got, uh, we got the brochure on it. I was looking at it. The diameter is over 80 inches, so it will machine a part over 80 inches in diameter wow. and wow. five foot tall. The, uh, the weight that we can put on the pallet itself mm -hmm. is something in the neighborhood of 6,000 pounds, over 6,000 pounds on each pallet. That almost is the weight of a car. Yeah, yeah. more than a car. <laughs> and, and it's got a pallet that swings, you know, so okay. it rotates. So we could put 6,000 on each one. Really? Yeah, it's pretty amazing. That's in, huge. In fact, you might want to go back. Well, you, why don't you and I go back there and take a look right. at it? I'll show you. because. This is really exciting for us. It provides a whole new level of machining capability for us. State of the art. And you know, we already have, like I mentioned, we already have a 680, an 880, and now a 1080. So yeah. we have three of these now. And we also have Mazak Quick Turns back there. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. So those you, are small. You know those are a lot smaller, but yeah. yeah. Right. But uh, wonderful. I'm, I'm telling you, we're so, we've been in love with Mazak. We've been work, working with them for over 25 years. We love the service, we love the company, and we love the product. So. Dependable. Dependable. Let's go back there and take a look, okay. all right? Sounds good. I'll grab my coat and off we go. <laughs> wow, okay. look at the size of that thing. Woo! This man. Is a, this is our new big play toy, Glenn. It's yeah. a big mama, man. Thousand millimeter. We got uh, 60 on X. 60 on Y and 60 on Z. Wow. We can put an 88 inch workpiece in there. 8,000 pounds on each pallet. Wow. By the way, we could, we could take a piece of steel and carve you, make a, a we could make a new, image of we you. We could make a new Glenn. <laughs> Give me some more hair. <laughs> yeah, we so we got, uh, so we, we, by the way, we have Tim Allen, president of the company. So you know, you know that, right? You know yeah, Tim. I know Tim. Yeah. I, I try to keep him in line. I, uh, good luck. It doesn't always work, but good I got on that one. Anyway. Uh, I mean, it's, I'll tell you what, I saw this from, you know, one of our shop cameras and it did not do it justice. I mean, I thought this thing looked big, but when you come here and see it, yeah. this baby is big. It is. Well, and, and when you see that it spans the entire bay, yeah. you know, we've got two machines, the 630 and the 800 over there in one bay, and we've got one machine in this bay. Wow. So you know, and then you look in there and you look at the size of the of the hoist ring is darn near the size of your head. <laughs> kind of puts things in perspective yeah. on what it's gonna weigh. The fact that there's tread plate inside here because they know the operator is gonna have to get up inside here to do setup. <laughs> it's crazy. Um, well I'm excited but, about it. I'll tell you Tim I and, and Glenn what it's going to do for what Mazak's going to do for us is put us in another league. It it does take us up to the next level, especially in the tombstone bus yeah. business. Yeah. Because it, you know, we're a little limited on size right now. This takes us up to the next level of size. Yeah, I don't. I don't think there'll be many tombstones that we can't do. Yeah. Of of 
the normal stuff. Yeah. And we deal with what, two or three foundries up here, right? Yeah. Yeah. We're yeah. So we're dealing foundries. with different yep. ones there already. Yep. So, and these folks have been here now, uh, uh, close, pushing a month, not quite, but about a month. Yep. And uh, they claim they're going to be here another several weeks to put it together. So we're excited about showing you a video about what it takes to put a machine like this together because it just isn't, doesn't come in at the back of a pickup truck and they put it on the ground. This thing came in with on five different trucks. It's over a hundred thousand pounds. Big, long, fat pounds. Bed. Yeah. Yeah. flat beds. Mul yeah. Multiple crates on each truck. So we're excited about showing you, uh, what do we call it, the mammoth? No. The Monster Maze. The Monster, the Monster Maze Maze installation, install. <laughs> so you're going to be watching this video. It's going to be exciting to see how this thing goes together and then to see it function and operate well, and do some some machining. Some. We'll go to this other side here and show you what else has to be done. You'll get a kick out of this, folks. We've got some pieces here. Uh, we've got the heavy, super heavy duty mist collection system still to be installed. That goes on the opposite side by the tool changer. We've got the filter system for the high pressure coolant. Um, we do so much cast iron on here. This helps to filter the fines out of the coolant. We should get a little uh, extra life on the coolant. Look at the stairs, oh my God. <laughs> There's another thing that helps to put it in perspective. You have to have a stairway to get to the operator station. Uh, we've been referring to it as the stairway to heaven. Now you're saying the computer on this is The computer badass, is, is huh? pretty fantastic. You can put, we can take a solid model of a part that we want to machine, put the solid model, the step file, on a thumb drive, so load it directly into this station. The operator will be able to pull that up, wow. and it will give him all the geometry required to machine the It's part. kind of almost like a CAD. Well, it is It is it CAD. Is, it is it, CAD. It's so an Glenn. extension of our existing <laughs> CAD system. So, Glenn, can you climb up here safely? Sure. And stand on that pallet. Right here? I'm on top of the maze head! <laughs> Dang! Okay, I'm ready to be refitted. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? <laughs> get right inside the machine. And the, uh, once we get it up and running, you'll have coolant coming out of all these oh, wow. things up here to help wash the chips down into the chip, into the auger system. Oh, look at that auger system, my God. Yeah. Yeah, take a look at the auger system down here. Is that on both sides? Yes. It's on both sides. Put that in the camera there. Wow. Hey, Zach. The pallet changer still has to be lifted up. It comes up about a little over 12 inches, and then it comes all the way back here and mounts up with these attachment points. The stuff. build quality on this machine is, is incredible. It's uh, very impressive. Uh, now we yeah. have contractors coming in tomorrow to grout the first half of the anchor bolts. Um, yeah, that's what we talked about in the first video where they had the foam, the sacrificial the, foam the in there. Sacrificial foam, they took that out. Now tomorrow they're going to come back and half uh -huh. of these holes will get filled with, they call it grout, it's obviously a type of cement. Uh, and then the machine gets leveled again, and then they'll grout the other half of the holes, and then it gets the, this will get attached, and then they'll do the final leveling and alignment of everything. They're shooting for the end of the month for a startup, but um, that's, that's that sort of remains in question yeah, at this point. pretty aggressive, yeah. Then you got the programming. I like that CAD idea, the way they just yeah. take yeah, a picture. It's, Man, that's... Well, we, you know, we got the I new, could even do it. We got the new turning center. Okay. And that has the same system. And it works, it, it's so nice because you just put the solid model in and he's got all the geometry there required to do a program. So yeah. there you have it, folks. This is a beauty. So uh, keep tuned because uh, we're excited about getting it running and we're excited to share it with you so you have an idea about what this baby can do. So again, Keep us in mind. We want to thank you for watching. Watch us on Facebook, Twitter, all that stuff. So, again, and have a great day. Thanks again.